Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome back to a new video um, of 5.1 gas. In this video, what we're going to learn is define gas law, which is Boyce law, Charles law, and Avogadro's law. And then we're going to sketch and interpret the graph of Boyce and Charles law. Okay, and then we're going to perform calculation involving the gas law. So on your notes, it will be on page two. So uh, for the Boyce law and Charles law. I believe you're familiar with it uh, because actually we have um, we have learned it uh, in secondary school, uh, but it is actually it is actually in physics lah, bukan chemistry. Okay, tapi uh, uh, sekarang ni apa uh, yang baru kamu akan belajar is Avogadro's law. Okay, but then let's look back. Uh, kita akan tengok balik lah. Uh, what is Boyce's law, Charles' law, and Avogadro's law? First thing first, let's look for the case of Boyce's law. Okay, so for the definition, it mentioned here that the gas volume is inversely proportional to the gas pressure at constant temperature and number of mole. Okay, so dalam kes ni, volume is inversely proportional to pressure but it must be in constant temperature and um, number of mole of gases. In this case, the in terms of uh, proportionality symbol, so macam mana mesti nak buat dia jadi equal. Okay, so kalau nak jadi dia equal, dia akan jadi V is equal to, ha, one ni dia akan jadi K over P. But when we make our K ni, ha, K is actually our proportionality constant. So now when we make K as our subject, dia akan jadi K is equal to P V. Okay, so yang inilah ha, from PV ni kita akan guna untuk equation kita. Okay, tapi sekarang ni what I'm going to look at is actually from Boyce's law, it mentioned that volume is inversely proportional to pressure. So here let's look at certain simulation. From the Boyce's law, dia kata volume is inversely proportional to pressure tapi it must be at constant temperature. Okay, so kalau kamu tengok kat website ni, okay, on your uh, on your right hand apa ni? On your right hand side, yeah, on your right hand, on your right side, ada whole constant tu kan? So, whole constant, dalam kes ni kita nak constantkan temperature kita. Okay, so buatlah constant temperature. Okay, so sekarang ni kita tengok volume for the case of this volume, uh, pressure dia is 5 atm. Uh, 5 uh, atmospheric pressure. Contohnya kalau miss nak kecilkan. So, um, what would happen to the pressure? Remember, it is inversely proportional. So, bila dia inversely proportional, uh, kamu assume bila dia punya volume small, uh, pressure dia, it will be getting smaller juga ke ataupun getting higher. Remember, it is inversely proportional. So, kita assume dia pressure dia akan jadi tinggi lah. Okay, so kita tengok, kita kecilkan kita punya volume. Okay, so sekarang ni pressure dia masih 5, miss lepaskan. Okay, pressure dia is actually getting higher, 7.9. It is inversely proportional. Okay, why? Because... Uh, remember, sebenarnya pressure, when we're talking about pressure, pressure ni is actually uh, arise when the molecule uh, is colliding with the wall of the container. So, when the volume is small, okay, the probability of the collision between the molecule dengan wall tu is higher. Uh, so, that's why lah, pressure dia is 7.9. Contohnya, kalau volume tu is high, okay. So, what will happen is that, Maknanya nanti collision between the molecule and the wall tu will be uh, is smaller. So, sebab itulah pressure dia smaller. Okay. Betul tak kalau kita buat volume dia besar, pressure dia akan jadi rendah. Sebab dia inversely proportional. So, kita lepas kata. Uh, so, pressure dia is decreasing from 7.9 kan tadi. Jadi 5.6. Uh, sebab pressure tu, uh, dia sebenarnya from the collision between the molecule dengan wall of container. Okay, so uh, it is inversely proportional. For the calculation pula, okay, for calculation, formula ni, kita akan buat kalau for the case of different pressure dengan different volume, dia punya formula will be P1 V1 equal to P2 V2. So actually, uh, this formula, you have to memorize. Uh, sebab yang ni nak buat calculation, I'm um, based upon this lah. Okay, but then you know that uh, even the equation dia macam ni, uh, relationship dia sebenarnya volume is inversely proportional to pressure. Okay. So, next is actually about graph. Okay, P is inversely proportional to V. So, that's why lah graph dia jadi macam ni. But why graph dia melengkung? It, um, bukan straight. Uh, apa ni? 
It's not a straight line. Ah, So, yang ini Miss sengaja je tunjuk dekat sini. So, volume yang ini adalah bila volume dia in 3 liter. So, Miss nak buat kalau volume dia jadi 1, 2, 4 dengan 5. Ha, yang ini. Ha, kena tengok je lah eh. <laughs> so, this is actually the data. Kalau kita, um, yang ni Miss buat volume Miss is actually kat sini kamu tengok lah. Kalau volume 1 tu, 3 liter. Volume 2, 2 liter. Volume 3, 1.1. Okay, sebenarnya nak tunjuk dekat sini. Uh, I just want to show it to you. That's why kita punya graph ni is not um that uh it's not a straight line tau. Ah uh, based on this simulation pun kita nampak dia macam bentuk lengkung ni kan. Sebab itulah. Okay. Tapi memang uh but then if the graph is actually P against 1 over V it will be directly proportional. Ah uh, tapi dia memang straight line lah. Sama juga kalau sini V sini 1 over P it will be the same shape. Tapi kalau dia adalah PV on your Y axis and P on your X axis yang ini, ha, dia akan jadi a straight line macam ni. Ha, kenapa? Ha, based kalau kita tengok based upon our uh, formula ni lah. PV, ha, contoh kat sini equal to P. Ha, so, sama lah dapat satu point sini. So, kalau contoh ni sini PV over V. Ha, pun sama juga. Graph dia akan jadi constant apa ni? Straight line macam ni. It's a constant. Okay. So, that is actually for our boy's law. Sekarang ni, tengok pada Charles law pula. Okay, Charles law mention that the volume is directly proportional to gas temperature which must be in Kelvin at constant pressure and number of moles. So, dia akan jadi V is directly proportional to Oops. V is directly proportional to T but it must be at constant Pressure and number of mole. Okay, tapi macam mana kita nak uh, remove kita punya proportionality symbol ni. Kita nak jadi dia equal. Dia akan jadi V equal to K. Uh, which is our constant KT. But when K is our subject, kita akan dapat V over T. Okay, for this law, kita punya uh, it must be, the temperature must be in Kelvin. Okay, so ni temperature kita familiar with degree Celsius kan? So, what is the relationship? Sebenarnya 0 degree, oh, 0 degree Celsius is equivalent to 0 degree Celsius is equivalent to 273.15 Kelvin. So, if you want to change your degree Celsius to Kelvin, what you're gonna do is actually add lah 273.15. So, kalau in terms of pressure, yang ini kita kena buat cross multiplication kan. Kalau in terms of temperature ni, we just gonna add from degree Celsius to Kelvin at 273.15. Okay, so right now let's look at the relationship. So, sekarang ni whole constant kita is the pressure. Tapi volume dia berubah kan. Okay, so sekarang ni kita tengok temperature dia is 85 degree Celsius ataupun Kelvin dia 358 lah. Okay. So, contohnya, sekarang ni, when the temperature is 358, uh, kita nak sejukkan dia sikit lah. Kita nak buat temperature dia 200. Ah, okay, so contohnya, when the temperature is 200, okay, the volume, ah, okay, kalau kamu nampak, volume dia is getting smaller. Tapi contohnya, kalau miss increasekan temperature dia kan, kita miss increasekan temperature dia. Ah. Ha, volume dia pun sama juga Volume dia increasing So as we can see it is um, Directly proportional Ataupun kita nak pressure yang tukar ni kan Okay Ini pun sama juga Contohnya kalau miss kecil kan ha, pressure, Dia punya temperature uh, Pun berkurang Kalau miss besar kan Temperature dia pun is getting uh, Higher ataupun uh, The temperature is getting higher so, we know that for the case of our Charles law, it is directly proportional. So, macam itulah. Dia main-main sikit. Ha. Kalau kecil, temperature dia is low. If the volume is high, temperature dia pun is high. So, it is directly proportional. Okay. So, to, um, what is the formula? Kalau kita ada different volume and different temperature, dia akan jadi V1 over T1 equal to V2 over T. To, okay, and then for this case, uh, for the graph itself, uh, yang ini, dia directly proportional. Uh, memang kita akan dapat, dia start from zero lah. But it must be, remember, this is actually, kalau temperature in Kelvin, uh, dia barulah start pada zero. 
if your temperature is in degree Celsius, um, sebab kalau apa ni, 0 Kelvin is equal to negative 273.15 um, degree Celsius. Ha, sebab itulah, kalau dia start, if um, our temperature tu must uh, in Kelvin, ha, so dia memang start pada 0 macam ni lah. Dan dia memang straight line sahaja. So, kita boleh tengok simulation nak buat graph. Okay, so right now yang ini, what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna change the volume over uh, volume is directly proportional to temperature kan. Tapi, pun sama juga. Miss nak uh, kacau dia punya volume sahaja. Volume dia I'm gonna do 1, 1 liter, 2 liter, 3 liter yang ada ni, 4 dengan 5 liter. Okay, dia punya graph memang jadi direct, um, straight line. Kalau dia temperature di in Kelvin, ha, dia memang dia punya apa ni, dia origin dia sebenarnya from zero. So that's it for Boyce's Law dengan Charles Law. Kita akan belajar graph. Okay, yang ini the last one Avogadro's Law. Ha, this is something new. Ha, yang ini um, sebab kalau in physics kamu belajar G. Luzak, tak sedap. Kalau yang kalau chemistry kita akan belajar Avogadro's Law. So, from here it mentioned that the volume is directly proportional to the number of mole at constant pressure and temperature. So, dekat sini, masih lagi volume directly proportional to N, tapi mesti, must be constant pressure and uh, temperature. Okay, so kita akan buat kalau V ni, kita nak jadikan dia equal to proportional to constant N. Kalau constant as a subject, kita akan dapat V over N. Okay, so that is actually the equation kita lah. So, if we have two different volume and number of mole, calculation dia akan jadi V1 over N1 equal to V2 over N2. So, that is the law that we're going to learn about. So, ada tiga lah. Boyce's law. First one ni, Boyce's law. Charles Law dengan Avogadro's Law. Okay, tapi penting untuk kamu tahu, kalau Charles Law ni, temperature dia must be in Kelvin. Okay, so uh, now let's look for uh, examples on page 3. Okay, so let's do the calculation. Okay, so first one, let's look here. A sample of chlorine, gra uh, chlorine gas occupy a volume of 946 ml at pressure 726 mm mercury. Okay, calculate the pressure of the gas is if the volume is reduced to 154 ml at constant temperature. So, what I'm going to do now is actually kita akan extract information kita. Okay, a sample of chlorine gas, okay, volume. Okay, so contohnya this is volume. Volume dia. So, when the volume is 946, so, misbatnya V1. So, pressure... Dia adalah 7 to 6. So, this is my pressure 1. Okay. So, sekarang ni dia tanya, calculate the pressure of the gas. Our unknown is pressure juga. Tapi, jadi pressure 2 lah. Okay. When the volume is 154 mil. Ha, so, ni volume 2. So, sekarang ni, I'm going to write down the information. Kita nak extract information kita dulu. So, from here, uh, when we're talking about PV, uh, volume. Pressure dengan volume yang berbeza. Uh, but, but then the constant temperature kan. Uh, so what is the law? Sebenarnya dia adalah kita punya Boyce law. So how we going to calculate it? Dia akan jadi P1 equal to P1 V1 equal to P2 V2. So dalam kes ni. Uh, tapi bila kita belajar awal-awal tu kan. Kita dah tukar-tukar kita punya ATM kan. Uh, yang itu nanti kita akan belajar bila ada gas law lagi. Tapi sekarang ni, uh, it's up to you. Boleh sahaja, if you want to take the pressure is to be 7 to 6 pun boleh juga. Sebab bila kamu buat dia adalah 7 to 6, uh, tak perlu tukar in ATM. Tapi make sure lah, pressure dekat sini pun must be unit yang sama. Millimeter mercury. So kalau yang ni, Miss nak senangkan kerja, Miss. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is actually, I'm not going to change it. Ambil sahaja 7 to 6 millimeter mercury ni. Sebab kalau Boyce's Law ni, tak, dia tak ada cakap spesifik pun volume ataupun pressure ni must be in what unit. Uh, volume ni in what unit, dia tak ada spesifik. Temperature sahaja, it must be specific in Kelvin. Uh, so, yang ni kita ambil sahajalah. Uh, pressure dengan volume ni, mesti nak ambil sahaja. Uh, 
as it is sebab unit dia sama. Ha, volume ni unit yang sama. So nanti pressure ni because we know the value ni millimeter mercury yang unknown kita tu pun unit dia must be millimeter mercury. So I'm just going to substitute it straight away. Okay, ha, so dapatlah jawapan dia. Ha, dia ha, calculation dia straightforward sahaja kan. Okay, if you want to change it ha, yang ini kalau terlebih rajin bolehlah tukar in EPM. Tapi yang ini, ha, itu sahaja. Sebab remember, kalau temperature je memang specific dengan Kelvin. Ha, kalau yang ini, just make sure lah ha, P1 ni unit yang sama. V1, V2 ni must be the same unit. Okay, so that is for question number 1. Okay, next is question number 2. Okay. So, a sample of carbon monoxide gas occupy 3.2 liter at 125 degree Celsius. Calculate the temperature at which the gas will occupy 1.54 if the pressure remains constant. Okay, so dekat sini, uh, when the, uh, vol uh, this is volume, uh, liter, milliliter, the volume. So, dekat sini, I'm just going to... Denote dia sebagai volume. Okay. So, bila volume dia is 3.20, temperature dia is 1 to 5 degree Celsius. Okay. So, sekarang ni dia tanya, temperature, what is the temperature? So, dia jadi T tu, when the volume is 1.54 liter. Okay. So, yang ini, what I'm going to do, kita akan extract dulu information kita. Okay. So, kita ada uh, volume dengan temperature. Lepas tu dia nak, dia kata pressure remains constant. So, dekat sini, kalau pressure remains constant, tapi ada information uh, volume dengan temperature je, uh, the different value. So, that is our Charles Law. Okay, so Charles Law is equal to V1 over T1 equal to V2 over T2. So, kita masukkanlah kita punya formula uh, V1. Sini ya. V1 over T1 equal to V2 over T2. Okay, tapi remember that for the case of our Charles Law, the temperature must be in Kelvin. Ah, uh, in Kelvin. So how we gonna change it? Ah, uh, kalau zero degree Celsius equal to two seven three point one five. So how to change from degree Celsius to Kelvin? Add kan saja lah. Add two seven three point one five. So temperature yang ini. So temperature dia in Kelvin. Dekat sini, temperature 1 is actually, kita tukarkan kepada Kelvin. 125 plus 273.15. So, dekat sini, bila kita <coughs> from degree Celsius to Kelvin, addkan sahaja. So, sekarang ni bolehlah, uh, we're going to substitute this all this value into the, eh, V2 kat sini lah. Ha, V2 ni ke sini. So, remember, Our T tu is our unknown. Maknanya, bila volume tu 1.54, that is our unknown kita lah. Uh, so, senang uh, memang kalau soalan ni apa-apa, senang uh, labelkan dia. So, bila volume dia 3.2 liter, temperature dia ni. So, itulah. Okay, so our value, the answer would be 191.62 Kelvin. Okay, so this will be the answer. Okay, so that's it for the examples on page 3. Yang lain ni, I believe you could try it yourself. For the example, jangan lupa labelkan dia and extract the information. Okay, kalau temperature, jangan lupa must be in Kelvin. So that's it for this video.